Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of our custom control panels. Each panel we build that has some type of custom functionality gets a video like this made. Now they're not shot for angles, they're not shot to really teach anything. It's really just to show the customer that they're getting the functionality that they're looking for. But I thought they'd be good examples to people who are looking to build control panels or have an idea and they're not exactly sure how to develop it. So let's go ahead and hit play on this one. Here's the conveyor control system. It's 480 volt coming in, lockable disconnect, and then mainly here are the 13 motors. Also, we went ahead and put 13 contactors in. While right now they do the same functionality, later on if you decide that you need to stage them or do some type of automation that makes them operate separately, then the contactors are already here. There's the transformer for the 230 volt single phase motors. And then this is our temporary wiring going over to our six push button stations. And pretty much wires number 11 through 20 go to station number one, which also has terminals 11 through 20 in it. So for example, this is station six. So in here you have terminal 61 through 70, and that will go the terminals 61 through 70 down here. Just a quick rundown of basic operation. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And press one of the e-stops. Local light comes on. Also, it's not real clear with all the thumping and everything, but the thumping here when I pull the e-stop back out is gonna be these two safety contactors and it does automatically reset and for your basic troubleshooting if the indicator lights are not enough then we have the led lights right here and stations one through six correspond to stations one through six here so if i press station three's emergency stop and you're going to see three goes out also if anyone pressed the light zero should come on and that tells you that the monitoring is okay on the safety contactors. Just a little bit about the safety relay software. You shouldn't need to go in here, but just in case you do, let's go through a quick course of it. Is this is Connected Components Workbench and it is free and I can send you a link to a video of how to download it. And if we go into the edit logic, then it's really graphical. So for example, here is e-stop one, e-stop two, and that goes down through e-stop six. And then actually this is the feedback coming off of it. But so if I press emergency stop number one, then we can see the emergency stop number one is now gray. And we have this and statement, which is looking for all these to be green. And it's pretty obvious there that we have an issue there and then yeah if we go down now we can see that our monitoring circuit is good but if we pull that one back out then it's going to go back green so if for some reason you need to go in here really you're looking for anything that is not green going all the way across to our outputs and these are the two safety contactors if you happen to have a custom control panel you're looking to get built please feel free to contact us here are some other custom control panel videos we have that you may find helpful. And YouTube thinks that you'll like these videos. Also, please hit the subscribe button. We put out at least one video a week. And if you find our videos helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our service, then please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Till next time.